So the throat chakra has three levels. First is self-aware. You start to learn how to manifest things, and the voice plays a huge role in that manifestation process. The next layer within that is self-actualization. You start to really become good at manifesting. When you get to the third layer is when you start to transcend duality, and this we call the self-transcendence layer. Now, you've all heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So Maslow's hierarchy starts off with the base things that human beings need, right? We need food and shelter. Beyond food and shelter, we need belonging to society. We have to have communities together. Yes, we probably also need to be able to reproduce, have children. And then beyond that, it starts to get more about self-actualization. But Maslow stopped there, but he had plans to go to another level, which was self-transcendence. And Carl Jung actually did go to the next level, and he called it individuation, enlightenment. And this is the age where many, many, many people will become enlightened. That means that you have now access to the other gifts, and the word Theodorus actually means gift from God. The throat chakra also allows us to understand structures. It allows us to structure our way of looking at the universe. And we have to remember that our thoughts become our judgments. Our judgments become our words. Words become our actions. Our actions become our habits. Our habits become our karma. And karma is destiny. So destiny, we tend to think of destiny as being, wait, like, I don't get any choice in this? Well, yes and no. I used to believe in coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence anymore. I now realize that every experience I'm having was a decision that I made, but not in the capacity of my lower self or my conscious mind but from my subconscious or superconscious mind, or rather what I would call the higher self. We all have it. We all can tap into that. So imagine that this world, what you're experiencing, is your subconscious being reflected back to you. When you realize that, it's also about integrating in your shadow. Your entire you inverse around you, it's a reflection of the absorbed state of what you're feeling inside of you projected back out to you in your outward world. Let me repeat that. Your outward world is the summation of your feelings inside of you. Now, how does this change how you think about your world?